getting reports from the Coast Guard about a developing situation at the harbor front. We have a lot of unmarked container ships approaching. They're refusing to identify themselves. Over. took us by surprise. We had been at war for almost four months and still we couldn't understand what was happening. Even as artillery shells started exploding on the streets of Seattle, many people just stood there, stunned by shock and disbelief. War can be fascinating to watch on TV, but up close and personal, it's a whole other story. Imagine your office blown to pieces, your car thrown about like a discarded glove, and your friend lying on the street, his body torn to bloody shreds. That was the reality in Seattle on that fateful day in the fall of 89. The army was fighting in Europe and elsewhere, and our Navy was supposed to protect us from an invasion. But they failed. They were fooled, as we were all fooled by the Soviet ruse. But as the first Soviet tanks started rolling off those freighters, a few of us tried to organize a desperate defense. We were not about to give up without a fight. <laughs> 